Hello. What's going on in here? Building a fire. Are you guys having a good time? Yeah. Yeah. At least do you enjoy coming to the Pioneers Museum? Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing right now? I'm building fire. All right. Look at those big pieces of wood. There's lots of fun things to do in here. Oh, yeah. Well, you guys play and have a wonderful time at the new exhibit. Great. Thank you. We love it so much. Here you go. Thank you. We better start this fire so we can make the coffee. So we're coming to you live this morning from the brand new exhibit at the Colorado Springs Pioneers Museum. It's designed especially for families like Joanna and Elise. And this is Meg Poole with the museum to show us around. Hi, Meg. Hi, good morning, everybody. So tell us a little bit about what people will experience here at the museum and what's happening this week to invite them to come see it. Absolutely. So this is a brand new exhibit that just opened Saturday. It's called Trade at Fence Fort, which is a fabulous trade post not too far from Colorado Springs. And it opened in 1833 and it was a place where people could come from all over the world and all over the country to trade goods. So through this exhibit, we've created an experiential learning environment for kids and families to come and learn about this fabulous regional history. So today, families are welcome to come and check it out. Um, throughout this week, actually, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday, we're doing our fall family fun days to actually highlight this exhibit, but also offer a lot of other great experiences for families. All right, so Meg's going to give us a sneak peek tour of the new exhibit here at the Pioneers Museum. Uh, and the event details for fall family fun days are linked from the caption of this video. Uh, the Pioneers Museum is also part of Indie Give 2018, and free exhibits like like this and they're always coming up with new ideas of bringing history to life aren't you yes you guys really uh, really innovate really come up with great ideas and all of those exhibits that are free to the public are supported um, by individual giving by foundations they are um, really an incredible asset and you should support them for indie gifts so there's also a link in the caption to their indie give page and and if you're inspired by what you see here today or by your own lifelong experiences at the pioneers museum we hope you'll support them um, but right now we're going to take a little tour of the new exhibit, the new family exhibit, which is called uh, Trade at Ben's Fort. Trade at Ben's Fort <laughs> here at the Pioneers Museum this morning. So take us around, Meg. Yeah, let's and, and here's Elise. Elise is enjoying it. Looks oh, like yeah. the. She's uh, having a great time. <laughs> she's got a chicken and some coffee. She, she's trading already at Ben's Fort. Here. Yeah, so if we want to start right over here. If you'll come on this side. Oh, of yeah, me, absolutely. Just and speak right into the microphone. So um, this is the kitchen. We, throughout this exhibit, highlight all sorts of different sections of Bent's Fort. So you, as you come into this exhibit, you are actually on the inside of Bent's Fort in what we call the placita, or the common area. And then there's sections that help tell the story. So Bent's Fort was known for its fabulous kitchen. Um, there was a woman named Charlotte oh, sorry, Green who actually um, was known for making flapjacks and wonderful pies. Mm. Very fitting for Thanksgiving. She was really, really well known for making pumpkin pie. Which oh, I think is how appropriate this I know. Week. I thought that was so funny. Look at um, all the beautiful artifacts you've used to dress the yes, exhibit. Yes, yes, to make it super feeling like you're inside of the fort. This is actually the trade counter yeah. where you could come and exchange all sorts of goods. Um, it's kind of fun if you check out, we really wanted to highlight some five senses components for this exhibit. Uh -huh. So for instance, you one of the things you could get was coffee. So you can imagine after a long journey, this would be a really wonderful thing. Yeah. Um, so it has a scent. All of our, a lot of our things have scents. This smells like coffee. Um, we also have a tea scent here that kiddos can smell. And, 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 and they do smell really do. good. I wish you guys could smell. I know, it's <laughs> you'll, kind of funny. You'll have to get all the five senses uh, when you come visit the new exhibit. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So tell us about the TP we visited when we first started yeah. here. Um, so there were Cheyenne and Arapaho encampments on the outskirts of Fence Fort. Um, so, and these different people would come to this community to trade all sorts of goods. A lot of it, uh, mostly what was being traded was bison hides. And they would trade for all sorts of manufactured goods that they could use in their everyday lives. So that's just to give you an idea of some of the different communities that gather here. Uh -huh. um, on an average day, you could hear up to 10 different languages wow. within the common area. Well, that's very interesting to yes. know. All sorts of languages, all sorts of cultural practices, um, all sorts of wonderful things. Yeah. 
Uh, so there's a picture of Ben's Fort yeah, here. Yeah, that's a picture of the inside of Ben's Fort. Um, throughout the exhibit, we have highlighted uh, just see, different things that would be Who's this little guy? This little. This is our mascot. He's one of our um, traders. So if you see, he's dressed <laughs> to trade. Yeah. And he asks you all sorts of questions throughout the exhibit as well, um, which right. makes it super fun for kids and families to interact and add, ask each other some questions. So, so we're gonna flip right back around. So um, come trade at Ben's Fort at the Colorado Springs Pioneers Museum. Bring your relatives when they're visiting for the holidays. Bring small children in your life. Uh, and with all five of your senses, experience history. Absolutely. Thank here, you. Here at the Colorado Springs Pioneers Museum and support their ongoing work through Indie Give 2018.